You know, I'm not even going to lie, I had a really good intro for today, but my Mandalorian helmet came in, and you know, this is the way. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and I'm finally back from ALGS. But with that, we're actually going to be talking about the ALGS banners coming to the store this week with some super rare skins we haven't seen in quite some time. We're also going to go over the normal store rotation and where Respawn is at with a bunch of the bug fixes and updates that we need to get to get the game going in the right direction. And along with that, we'll give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's talk about Apex. So let's go ahead and start off with what that ALGS store is going to be. Remember, you can get these banners as standalone for 500 apex coins however if you want to get the skins you will have to get the banners and the skin as well first up we're going to have g2 which will have the gibby blazon hot we'll also have the complexity fuse pearly white of course alliance will have one with the crypto seeker of knowledge and the bangalore nerves of steel is going to be for team liquid and to round it all off we have the ghost stalker lifeline which will be for team navi of course we'll have our normal store rotation you can expect to see the mic check lifeline with the ringside wraith both returning as the aftermarket promotional event with the sundown desperado bloodhound skin rounding it out of course there will be recolors but the respawn has actually locked those away quite a while ago now let's go ahead and start talking about updates last week we actually received one that was supposed to fix the input lag for xbox and other systems however it it has been noted that the input lag is still being impacted for many players still on the Xbox system and that this is also still impacting PlayStation players as well. Respawn Pab did let us know that they are still working on getting a fix out. However, they haven't determined the source of the problem. It's important to know at this time that the Apex tracker hasn't actually been updated by the developers at all. I imagine that they were pretty busy with ALGS and making sure that ran as smoothly as possible, although they did deal with quite a bit of bugs there as we've gone over before. Respawn Pab did also let us know that they are working on the twitch drop issue which was a major problem for algs because a lot of people wanted those skins he did confirm though that even if you do end up losing some of your skins they will all return when they do eventually resolve the issue but that could be quite a while speaking of that respawn dev tracker not being updated and not too much input from the devs we actually know from ag420 a fairly notorious leaker that they are still working on the debug for loba he found files that indicate that they are indeed working on her and they're actually working on a buff for valkyrie where she will now be able to scan Mirage when she is skydiving, which is going to lead into some meta changes as we also know from Josh Medina that after players only saw pretty much Cossack, Gibby, and Valk being the main comp run that people were using, that the respawn team is going to reevaluate them and making some major changes. A leak that actually got out was that Valkyrie's ultimate will be getting a longer cooldown of a minute and a half longer than normal. I would imagine some stuff to her passive in the future as well, but we don't know. And of course, Gibby is getting that rework. Not sure what they're going to do with Cossack because they're always doing a balancing game with him i wouldn't imagine you'll see these actually right away in season 14 for caustic and gibby maybe this is all in preparation for algs year three so they'll probably start with valk and work their way down another funny thing that was actually brought up was the fact that josh mandina did say that he wants to in the future to make it his mission to take white backpacks out of the loot pool meaning that you would essentially drop with them in the future it'll be interesting to see if that actually ends up being put into the game or if he's just kind of messing around with fans it really could go either way but i don't necessarily think it's a bad idea in the slightest but most of our updates that are going to majorly fix the game will most likely come out next Tuesday. Like I said, I believe the Respawn developers were really busy with ALGS this weekend. And so we may see some minor updates in terms of input lag being fixed as they were pretty close last time. But for a lot of the other big ones, we're still going to be waiting a little while longer. What, you guys thought I only got the Mandalorian helmet? Nah, I had to get Doom Guy as well. Let me know down below, guys. Are you excited for some of the upcoming skins? And once again, what kind of meta changes would you like to see in the future of Apex Legends? And until next time, keep slaying in the Outlands and rip and tear!